What's going on people, major players in the building and we are back again. My name is Face, I'm one quarter of the major players and today we are having a head to head between the Mercedes C63, the BMW M4 and the Audi RS5. Without further ado, let's get it. The C63 has 503 horsepower, 700 newton meters of torque, weighs 1,800 kg, is at A777, and is rare wheel drive. The BMW M4 has 431 bhp, has 550 newton meters of torque, weighs 1,537 kg, is at A800, and is also rare wheel drive. The Audi RS5 has 442 HP, 430 newton meters of torque, weighs 1737 kg, is an A750 and is all wheel drive. Let's see how they do on the drag strip. So I'm driving the BMW M4, Greasy's driving the Mercedes and Gully is in the Audi, let's see how it goes. And we're off the BMW, all wheel spin at the start, being the rear wheel drive and being the less of the power, but it's catching the Audi. That torque is kicking, it's catching it. Oh, and it crosses the line, I didn't even see the Mercedes. I didn't even see the Mercedes. The BMW wins this round, 12 seconds. Oh, very, very, very close. All cars hitting 12 seconds, it's milliseconds in it. The BMW clearly, well, not very clearly, but the winner of this one. So that's one to the BMW, zero to the other cars. Let's take it to the Greendale Aerodrome drag strip and let's see how they get on. BMW in the lead at the moment. Stand we're off. Little bit of wheel spin. Obviously the four-wheel drive. Audi kicking off ahead. The Mercedes being the most powerful is getting left. I don't understand. I don't understand. This M4 is going for it. The Mercedes is catching the Audi, as you can see. The M4 finishes first again. That is two to the M4. This time, the Mercedes beats the RS5. The RS5 is last. The Mercedes and the M4 still within 18 seconds, but that is another win for the M4, and that is two nil. Nil. Let's take it to the juggernaut. Let's see how they get on at the juggernaut. Let's see if the Mercedes can get enough power down to win. Basically, the Mercedes is the most powerful car here at the moment. M4 kicks off a lot of wheel spin. Okay, as per usual, the Audi that all wheel drive kicked in first and is gone. But the M4 is chasing. The Audi has less torque than the M4, so the M4 will catch up. But I, I don't understand. The Mercedes here is the most powerful car. I thought the Mercedes would have been the clear winner, but no. No, the M4 is in the lead. 173 miles an hour at the moment. 174, 175 now. Pacing out the other two cars. They are nowhere to be seen. They are not in this race. The M4 on BHP, I think it, I think it is less powerful than both other cars, but it is clearly winning. Remember, nothing has been done to this M4, but it is clearly winning. The other two cars are not catching up. They're definitely not catching up. The Mercedes is not too far behind. The Audi's been left. And that now is three to the BMW M4. The Mercedes a second slower. The Audi, wow, the Audi. Damn. Let's take these cars back to the garage and give them a full upgrade. The Mercedes has 827 horsepower has 1,071 newton meters of torque, weighs 1,492 kg, and is now at A78. The BMW has 737 horsepower, 877 newton meters of torque, weighs 1,280 kg, and is at S1900. The RS5 has 673 horsepower, 596 newton meters of torque, weighs 1,398 kg, and is an S1857. 
Let's take them back to the Horizon drag strip and see what they do now. Okay, hopefully the Audi's better. I thought the Mercedes was going to do well. Wow! That takeoff from the M4. Leaving the other two cars in the dust. Oh my god. This M4 is unbeatable. And it does it in nine seconds. So does the AMG C63. Left the Audi, the RS5. Wow. That's now four to the BMW. It's basically one. We're basically doing this, these other drag races for pride right now. <laughs> for pride for the other two cars, because I don't know what's going on. The M4 is just torn these cars apart. And look at the takeoff! The M4 takeoff is brilliant. The Mercedes, the Mercedes is not that far behind. The Audi, I don't know where the Audi is. It's just a speck. It's just a speck at the end of the track. I don't know where that Audi is. The M4 wins again. Can't believe that. 14 seconds. But the AMG is still staying within the same time frame. It's just not as quick. It doesn't accelerate as quick. So that's the M4 winning again. Let's see if that Mercedes can keep up in the juggernaut race. Being along the track. Oh, the Audi RS5 has been left. Again, this M4 is something else. The Mercedes fading away slowly. Oh, a bit of bad driving from me there. A bit of bad driving not staying on the road, but that's not helping the other cars at all. The Mercedes is far behind. The Audi is just nowhere to be seen. Remember, these cars are modified on their stock engines. And to be honest, I don't think the M4 is the most powerful one here, but it is just doing so well oh my god a bit of bad driving there crossing the track the road should i say in a bit of barriers there the m4 is just well i think somebody spun out as i can see on the radar somebody spun out and we we all could tell who's the clear winner here that was a complete whitewash the m4 did that in 53 seconds i can't even see times from the other two cars because they they basically didn't even actually finish the race. I'm not going to blame the drivers. Oh, they did finish in 1 minute 11 for the AMG. What about the RS5? Does the RS5? Yeah, RS5 puts down a time of 1 minute 22, I think. I think something happened back there. There's some traction issues, but you can obviously tell the clear winner of this head ahead is the BMW obvious winner straight whitewash <laughs> nothing long anyway that concludes this video if you're feeling this type of content make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit the bell get that notification and all that this is another head-to-head -head. that was the M4 versus the C63 versus the RS5 M4 was the winner stay tuned for more head-to-heads in the future